Well, hey everybody, how's it going? It's Shani with The Nostalgic Owl. And if you don't know, I am a part-time reseller. I sell pretty much anything I can find um, that can I can flip for a profit. And so I am bringing you a what sold from January 1st through the 7th. So when I typically calculate how much I make, I, my week of selling is from Monday through Sunday. I like to include Sunday on my weekends. So I actually include that the Sunday with the previous week. So it kind of worked out for me that January 1st was, fell on a Monday. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't think it was too bad. Actually, I had 14 items sell and you know, that's a couple couple sales a day on average, and I am part-time at this. I have a full-time job, so I didn't feel like it was too bad. I got rid of some old stuff, too. You'll see. So, anyway, we're going to go through these 14 items and talk about them, and yeah, I had two sales on Poshmark, I had a sell on Mercari, a sell on Etsy, and then the rest was on eBay. So I'm going to start on Poshmark. So I'm just going to kind of turn this so I can um, throw up some good pictures for you guys. So how are you guys' sales? Let me know. Um, yeah, so Poshmark, I had two sales and I've been very transparent about Poshmark. I struggle with it. I have a virtual assistant. I still struggle with it. Um, I Part of my problem is I don't keep my computer open a whole lot. Um, some people will just leave their computer open and let the VA do its thing. Um, I don't. I do send offers. Um, to where when I'm not working on Poshmark, I, I do send offers on items, but I just, I'm, I struggle with Poshmark, but I had two sales and they were, you know, um, I was glad to see these things go. Typically, um, I, you know, I list things for, you know, what comps look like to me. I do comp out most items I list and then um, I take offers. And so we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to eBay. But the first item on Poshmark is relatively newer. I got it at the end of the year. It's a J. Jill V-neck navy cotton rayon blend sweater. It's a size 2X and my cost of goods I did not figure in my cost of goods with my totals um, just because I claimed those cost of goods at last year. But I will tell you, if I was able to find cost of goods, I will tell you what my cost of goods were. So this um, sweater, that my cost of goods was $1.14. Um, I sold this for $15. Uh, less the $3 Poshmark fee, and I profited $12. So I, you know, I wasn't too sad about that. Um, the size, I think, was a factor on why it so, like, sold so fast. Um, it was a cotton rayon blend. It was very nice, and it was in great condition. So, yeah, I was glad to see it go. The next item was this Anthropology Porcelain Teacup Gold Blue Bird Parrot Floral Design. So this cup, I loved this cup when I saw it. Um, I had a lot, a lot of traffic on this cup on all platforms it was posted on. I just never like would receive an offer. No one would accept offers on it. Um, so I think I originally had it listed at like $12, $12 maybe. And then I just lowered it. I lowered it to $10. I received an offer of $8. And I, if you ever look at my Poshmark closet, you'll see items that I just want to, I want them to go because typically they'll be for $10. And I don't like to accept less than $10 offers just because of the fee and all that. But with something I've had for a long time like this, um, 
I believe this was from my 2022 inventory. I have been listing and relisting this item and it was just, I got lots of traffic, but no one ever um, would buy it at my full price. So I did accept the $8 offer. So minus the $2.95 fee, um, I profited $5.05 and I do not have a cost of goods on this. I'm gonna guess a dollar. A lot of my cost of goods is a do around a dollar. Um, you know, there are some items I pay up for, but typically I, you know, get stuff at the Goodwill outlet or I find it in a, like a bag where I pay by the bag. <clears throat> so I like to, um, have lower cost of goods on items. So I'm going to say this maybe cost me 50 cents or a dollar. Um, but it has been a uh, self shut self sitting shelf sitting for um for a long time so it's been <laughs> yeah i i'm glad to see it go it was a really cute cup though so i had one sell on mercari this i didn't have cost of goods on either so it's probably from 2022 it's this yellow box black leather suede loafer size 11 and they had excuse me they had the slip on fold down heel I'm on, um, I am a hospice on-call nurse, if you don't know, I do that, that is my full-time job, and I am on shift this week, so I was on call last night, and I just did not get to sleep very well, so excuse my yawning, <clears throat> so, you know, these had some traffic, um, typically size 10 and 11 women's are pretty, I feel like, um, they're great sizes to pick up because I wear a size 10. So I can tell you the cute shoes, um, they just, there are either a, a lot of women that wear size 10 because when there are cute shoes, typically I, they go out of stock first. Um, or they just don't make as much bigger sizes. And I don't know why. Because I feel like there's a lot of women that wear size 10 or 11. So, anyway, these sold on Mercari um, for $22. On Mercari, I do not, um, I include, the, I pay for the shipping on Mercari. Because Mercari's shipping is way, man, guys, it's expensive. I, I know that um, they're working on their shipping costs. But if it's like over a pound, if you bump up to that priority it is so expensive so these people would have paid if i would have used mercari shipping it would have been what twelve dollars i think i think their priority rate for like two pounds or more is twelve dollars and um so i just i bump up my price of things to try and include the shipping so i sold these for twenty two dollars my fee was three dollars and thirty four cents and then I use pirate ship to ship and this was going, um, Midwest. I am in the Midwest, so it was staying in my range. <laughs> um, thank goodness. And the shipping was only 702 on these. So, um, I ended up profiting $11 and 64 cents. So I was just kind of happy to see them go cause I've had them for a while. So I had one Etsy sell and, um, I think maybe these were included in a thrift haul at the end of the year, but I went to the Goodwill outlet, um, in no, I think it was November and found a lot of nine of these. They were vintage snowmen, hard plastic, nine inch yardstick light covers. There was a lot of nine, um, I was able to find my cost of goods on these. So all nine of them, when I averaged out my cost of goods from the outlet, my um, cost of goods was $11.61. And so I posted these for sale for $32. I had someone buy them at full price on Etsy, $32. Um, I felt like that was a pretty competitive like price because... 
<clears throat> it was right around where others were. And these actually, you know, they're not like blow molds, but um, these old vintage light covers do sell. So if you see them, don't hesitate to pick them up. Um, so these did sell. The buyer paid $12 of shipping as well. Um, so after my fees on Etsy, which was $4.70 and shipping, shipping was, um, in the Midwest as well. So I kind of got lucky there. The shipping only cost me $7 and 13 cents. So I actually profited some on the shipping. And then, um, so the total, my total profit after fees and, um, shipping was $32 and 17 cents. I did not minus that cost of goods yet just because that was from last year. So I've already claimed that. So, um, anyway, that's how I want to do it just to keep things simple. So that just kind of gives you an idea. I would have, if I, these would have sold last year, um, I would have profited around $21 and some. So, not too bad, not too bad. They didn't take up too much room either. So the rest of my items were from eBay. This um, first, it's a hearth and hand Magnolia black stoneware, eight inch salad plate set of four. I bought these to possibly put in my son's girlfriend's thrift Christmas box, which I like to um, thrift for them. I try and make them a thrift box for Christmas. Um, I've done it a couple years now. So I thought this was the set she wanted. I, it turns out it wasn't. My son was like, no, that's not it. And so I just posted these for sale for $25. I had someone buy them and, um, my shipping, I did flat rate shipping at $20. <clears throat> I personally, like using flat rate shipping the best. If it's something that's awkward or, um, you know, I don't know, just, yeah, or something that's really heavy or something I'm going to do calculated shipping. Um, I almost did calculated shipping on these and I probably should have. Um, but otherwise I like to just estimate. I feel like I'm pretty good at estimating it can burn you sometimes. So let me just throw that out there until you get used to like the weight of things and, you know, knowing what it's going to cost you from where you're at to the other side of the United States or wherever you want to ship to just, um, it's, it's a risk. Just know that it's a risk to, in total transparency I lose money sometimes doing it. Um, I like to think I make up that in other items. If, if you know, in this case, um, she paid the $20, then she sent me a message and said, hey, if you can ship cheaper, would you do that? And so I absolutely do that. And if I ever, if it's a major overcharge on someone, I just, I'm a nice seller and I refund some money and I'll just say, discounted shipping. Um, so I did give her back, um, some money. I think I gave her back $7. And so all together after fees and shipping, um, I made $19 and 58 cents. My cost of goods, um, on this item was $4. So hopefully she gets them. Um, I was tracking them and um, she hadn't got them yet. And she was up in, I want to say New York. And I'm in Missouri. So I'm just praying they get there. <laughs> they get there safely. Um, this next item I've had for quite a while. I did not have a cost of goods on it. It was an Eddie Bauer men's baby blue cotton blend zip up hooded jacket large tall. Um, I sold this for $10. I think I maybe took an offer of $10. Seems like I had it posted for 12 or 13, but either way, glad to see it go. It sold for $10 after fees and shipping. I made $8.60 on this. Um, this next item I think was in a haul. It's this vintage Preston New York silk rayon blend knit maxi pencil silhouette skirt size medium. This is one of those items where I picked it up. I know like 
if you're a reseller, you know knit, knitted like pants, knitted shirts, knitted um, skirts, anything with that thick, dense knit, like sweatery type of material. It is in style now. And this um, kind of fit those factors. It was maxi. It just, it had that pencil silhouette. It was thick knit, um, which is in style. Very, very nice. It was silk and rayon blend. Just felt really great. Um, I posted this, I think I listed it for $14.99. And I must have sent out an offer um, and the buyer accepted at $13.49. So after um, fees and shipping, I um, made $8.72. So not bad. It was a quick flip. I just had picked this up. I want to say in December I had picked this up. So not too bad. I'm okay with an $8 to $10 profit. I've said it. There are some sellers that, you know, they like. Um, I wonder if, can you guys hear that wind? I'm in, I'm in Missouri by Branson, Missouri. And it has been lightly snowing and the wind has just picked up and it's just, been, it's one of the, it's one of those really cold days that you just want to stay inside and watch TV. And <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, $8 and 72 cents. Not bad. I, I mean, I don't feel like it's bad. It was a really quick flip. So, um, next is this mammoth rock climbing sling. Swiss design, red, 8.0, 60 centimeters, uh, new with tag. Um, so I bought, I had three of these. So I've sold this one. I have two left. I got these in a bag um, at the Bag of Bargain in Branson West. And you, um, you, you can fit everything you can into a bag. And the bag is $10. So my cost of goods on this was 42 cents. And I um, sold this for $5.50 plus shipping. After fees and everything, my um, net profit was $3.83. So not bad. Like it's not taking much room up. It's one of those things that rock climbers look for. Um, so yeah, I think I, I'm pretty confident. I'll sell the other two. I might have to hang on to them for a while. But anyway. This next item is Suki Sports. I think it's Su Suki Suki Sports men's padded cycling shorts, black size large. Cycling stuff sells, guys. It can be a cheaper brand, um, especially cycling shorts. It's something that really wears out on cycling. The pad in it. Um, so, guys and gals are always looking for. Um, you know, extras, extra bike shorts that they can pack along or, you know, replace the old ones with. So they had a good pad in them. So I went ahead and bought them. I don't have the cost of goods on them, but the buyer, um, they paid $8 and 99 cents, um, for this. I, and that is uh, my full price. I posted it for $8 and 99 cents. So after um, fees and shipping, I profited $8.22. I made just a little bit on the shipping. So most items like shirts or let's say it's like most items under a pound, I'm, I charge $5.50 flat rate shipping. Um, if it's something super, super light, like that mammoth, you know, sling, I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to charge by 50. Um, I think I maybe charged 375 or something and the, the shipping actually ended up being 390. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what I do. Um, so hopefully that helps. So I probably charged the buyer 550 on shipping on this. Um, and then my shipping only ended up being $4 and nine cents. And so, yeah, I, I made $8 and 22 cents. So next item, I've had this forever. I actually have another one. I'm just like, uh, I almost donated these. Um, 
But this is a turquoise and salt waist beads bead kit. Mystic and Wonder was the name of like the design or the the colors of the bead kit. So I sold this for ten dollars, full asking price. Um, so I was kind of happy with that. Um, so after fees and shipping, I made eight dollars and five cents. So not bad. I have another one, and I I just want to just want it to go at this point. Um, next item is this Ann Taylor Loft Women's Linen Blend Striped Unlined Blazer, size 12. Um, this sold for $15 plus shipping. And after everything was said and done, I made $10.24. I did not have a cost of goods on this, so that tells me it was an older item. And it was, um, Ann Taylor, especially Ann Taylor Loft, um, you know, some resellers just, they, they kind of scoff at it. Um, I don't, I, you know, prior to my job now, I was, um, in a more corporate role. And so I, I shopped at Ann Taylor and I, you know, if you've ever shopped at Ann Taylor, um, it's not cheap, um, or it's not cheap for me. Um, I don't typically, I can't typically afford luxury brands. So, you know, J. Jill, um, Ann Taylor Loft, those are the places I shop for nice career wear. So, um, you're not going to profit a bunch on them, but if it has good factors, that was a blazer. Their blazers are typically expensive. It was um, a linen blend. So, a linen blazer does very well, really, no matter what what brand it is, um, linen, you know, you can get by with buying maybe cheaper brands, um, to resell if it's certain, um, fabrics like linen or cashmere or things like that. So it was linen blend, um, and it was a blazer. So I got it. Um, this next item I bought this year, it was from my first thrift haul to the Goodwill outlet. It was this vintage Miami Dolphins helmet, transistor, AM radio, headphones, um, NFL. My cost of goods uh, was 63 cents. And so I did factor them into my profit. Um, I listed these for $16.99. I did not want to have to test them. And I very clearly stated, um, you know, has not been tested, um, parts only or something like that or just to go with your um, collection. And so I received an offer of $15 the next day and I took it. So it was one of these things I'm like, you know, I think it will eventually sell, but I don't want to put my time and effort in cleaning them and testing them. So I didn't. Um, it was missing a cord. I stated that as well. So I was, I think it's the first thing it is the first thing in that Goodwill outlet hall that has sold. So of course I'm still working on, um, getting everything listed. So anyway, um, so $15, uh, and shipping. Um, so after everything I made $9 and 98 cents. So, Hey, I was glad to see it go. I was really glad to see it go. So, all right, next is, I've got two more items. Vionic Carnegie Charcoal Mule Shoes Suede Women's Size Six and a Half. Vion Vionic is a great brand. I had these a little longer than I thought I would actually. My cost of goods was $1.21. I bought them kind of mid last year. Um, so I did accept an offer of $24 on these. So after fees and shipping, I profited $20 and five cents. So I think this was my highest net profit item out of these items. So anyway, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So it is on its way to the buyer. And then last is J. Jill light pink, lightweight, textured long sleeve sweater, size large. Um, and I accepted an offer of $13 on this. I think I, it was an offer of $13. And so after fees and shipping, I made $10.79. So not too bad, 14 items. Um, my total profit for the week was $168.92. 
So when you break it down, it's an average, um, you know, my average net sell was $12.07 and um, for I per item. And so, yeah, I would like to see that go up. Um, sometimes you just have to be real with yourself though. And I feel like we have all these aspirations of, um, do, you know, finding better items and, um, you know, lowering your cost of goods, but increasing your average sales price. And that sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, especially if you work full time and you're limited on your resources, on where you can go, when you can go um, thrifting, um, you, you sometimes just, like me anyway, I, um, I have to get what I can get. <laughs> so I don't have the time um, to dedicate on, you know, researching online or, you know, I, I, you have to enjoy your life as well. And so there's a balance in there. So I, of course, have goals of increasing, you know, I, I would love my, my, my top goal would be to, to make two to $300 a day. That's my top goal. And so to get there, I have lots of work to do, but th that's why we set goals. And um, yeah, so we shall see. This is my first week of 2024 sales and um, we shall see. So anyway, thank you so much. If you stay to the end, I all of a sudden have had yesterday, I had 49 followers and like by this morning, I have like 70 some and I'm like, what has happened? <laughs> so anyway, YouTube has done something to where other people are seeing my videos. And so it's very exciting. And um, so please comment, give me, you know, suggest, I, I, I love suggestions, constructive criticism. Um, so yeah. Um, I appreciate all of you and have a blessed day and I will catch you later.